So just for fun, our dinosaur of the day is Indominus Rex, which the name means fierce or untamable king. And according to the movie, they decided to make this because kids get bored by regular dinosaurs and they had a bunch of focus groups that wanted something scarier and cooler. And so to attract new visitors, they came up with Indominus Rex. It looks like a T-Rex, but it's also a mix of Carnotaurus, Gigantosaurus, and other carnivores. It also has traits of frogs in terms of being able to control its thermal regulation and traits from a cuttlefish to camouflage into its surroundings. And another spoiler alert, it's also got traits from Velociraptor, which is kind of a big mystery in the movie because they're not allowed to know, it's top secret, the exact mix that made Indominus Rex. And of course that kind of changes things when they set the Velociraptors loose on Indominus Rex. According to Jurassic World's website, Indominus Rex can run up to 30 miles per hour and its roar is 140 to 160 decibels, which is the same as a 747 taking off and landing. But it didn't really seem any louder than a T-Rex in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and no one went deaf, so I don't know about that. 30 miles an hour seemed about right, though. The director of Jurassic World, Colin Trevorrow, talked a little bit about how they came up with the idea of Indominus Rex. He said uh, they wanted it to look somewhat like a real dinosaur, so they consulted with Jack Horner, who was a consultant for all the other Jurassic Park movies, and he was also the inspiration for Dr. Alan Grant in the original movie. And they came up with a whole bunch of crazy ideas. Apparently, Jack Horner said no to the idea that the dinosaur should be bulletproof. Although in the movie they shoot it a lot, and it never seems to be phased by any of the bullets, so I'm not sure if they actually decided not to make it bulletproof or not. We did see it was losing a little bit of blood, its back. Hmm. There's definitely wounds. Or was that from when it cut out its own Well, there was that too, thing. but... There were also long spear things on its back at one point. But anyway, Jack Horner, he nixed a few of the ideas, but basically said, go crazy, do whatever you want. And apparently he was hoping that Indominus Rex would be even more ridiculous than it was. And interestingly, he said, quote, that is the most plausible part of the movie, making transgenic animals. That's more plausible than bringing a dinosaur back from amber. Yeah, we've talked about in the past how you can't get DNA out of a mosquito because even if it's perfectly preserved and in a refrigerator or whatever you can come up with, like a mammoth frozen in an ice cap, DNA will degrade after a couple million years and won't make it anywhere near the 65 million year minimum that you'd need to get dinosaur DNA. But you can get DNA from modern animals and splice them together potentially and make a genetic hybrid like yeah. they did in the movie. Yeah, Jack Horner's example is the Chihuahua is a genetically modified wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so there's a lot of things you can do to mess with the traits of an animal more so than trying to bring one back from the dead. 